Thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, my name is Jeremy Crookshanks. I'm the uh, product manager for h &L Filtration here at Schroeder Industries. I am very happy to be able to introduce to you guys this filter we've been working on for, for a little while. A filter that we've dubbed the, the spin-in filter. Um, and the reason for that is primarily for its uh, target market focus, focusing against um, the traditional spin-on filters of the market and, and in industry, you know, they're really a, a staple of the marketplace, but they don't provide, you know, the kind of performance that uh, most hydraulic systems uh, need in the year uh, 2021. Uh, but because of their low cost nature and the customers, you know, they're hesitant to change uh, away from those platforms. With the new spin-in filter, we're targeting a, an in-tank filter that's a lot closer to that spin-on price point. Um, in the market today. So as we look at the, the spin-in filter here, um, just a few uh, features and, uh, and advantages. So it's an in to out filter for low velocity radial lead directed flow for deaeration purposes. A lot of thought went into this filter as far as, you know, how do we make it the highest performing filter that it can be? It's a completely uh, lock and key patented element connection and lock and key is you know, basically just what it says in the name. Nice thing about this is for a small tooling charge, we could have OEMs and uh, different customers have their own lock and key that would be proprietary to only them. So unlike a spin-on where you can go get a, a cheap spin-on can anywhere that doesn't do much good, you know, these this keeps it needing to be replaced with a quality Schroeder element. Next thing I want to talk to you about is deaeration performance. The real key to the to the spin-in filter offering is versus a standard filter. The spin-in has this radial flow, and because of that lower velocity coming out and allowing those air bubbles to rise up to the surface, it uh, keeps you know that air from ever making it back to the suction strainer the first time. And our sensor in this experiment is you know just on the other side of the suction strainer uh, before it gets pulled back into the pump. So this is keeping 55% of that air from ever reaching back to the surf suction strainer the, you know, the very first time and back into your pump, which causes cavitation and micro cavitation. And then, um, you know, with this setup, because we're excluding that air from the get go, you know, in about the, the 20 minute mark, you know, this is down to a negligible amount of air where and with the standard setup in a 12 gallon tank, it was taking almost, uh, 50 minutes or so, almost an hour for that uh, that to dissipate. Um, you know, we've also done this with our um, uh, standard tanks and customers reservoirs. So this is kind of a really worst case scenario in a customer reservoir running 30 gallon a minute through this small three gallon reservoir. But you can see just how much 55% um, of the air doesn't get dissipated and 35% uh, of the two millimeter air bubbles don't get dissipated in this kind of uh, kind of setup. Whereas with the spin-in, you can see how much better it mixes within the within the reservoir itself and allows those air bubbles to slow down and uh, get out of the flow path and rise up to the surface. So with um, this setup, we have a, almost a 32% improvement in um, in this kind of worst case scenario tank um, with. Uh, very low volume, and very high flow. So the change out on these things is is very simple. Toolless element change, just like you would see in a um, in a typical um, filter. So our current projected uh, complete market launch for this is um, July 2021. We're really designed to compete in the low cost spin on realm with superior filtration and deaeration performance. We really look forward to uh, bringing this new product to market.